What's up, family? Oh, welcome back to Meet and Monica. How you doing? It is mukbang time or mukbang time. One of them, whichever one it is, we about to do it big. What we got, baby? Uh, salt and pepper shrimp, which you all saw me make that earlier. Corn, crawfish, and potatoes. And we have some Butter sauce. Butter sauce it is. And I, I have some cocktail sauce. Oh, you keep cocktail sauce. Please. How, how you gonna eat cocktail sauce with crawfish? Come on, let's take rest. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, thank you for this food that we're about to receive. We ask you to bless it and also bless the cook. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And thank God. Hallelujah. Yeah, I've been waiting on this dude all day. I said I was gonna wait to eat. Yes, I did. It's almost time to go to bed. Almost time to go to bed. Hey, mm -hmm. I can't. Oh, I'm good. What? Probably. Yeah. Oh, that's good, though, baby. Oh, you want me to put some of these? Mm mm. I'm gonna just grab one right there. Oh, okay. You want some of these on your mm mm. I'm gonna just grab them from right there in front of you. Oh, okay. I'm playing old guy in wool. Yeah, ain't nothing like southern style crawfish, y'all. I'm talking about. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. These are the pepper shrimp. I hadn't had them in a while. Thank you. Ain't nothing like. Y'all gotta try those. <coughs> ain't nothing like them salt and pepper shrimp, y'all. I be eating the onions and everything. <laughs> you use the onions just for what? Putting the flavor yeah, on Yeah, extra flavor. I eat them too, y'all. And then I know you like them, so. But it adds <laughs> that extra flavor. Oh, no. That salt bar, I think you just need to boil these in the salt, just. The corn? Yeah, just sit the corn <laughs> in the salt. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. So, I didn't make it as spicy. So, the salt is just soak in the potato. You know what I'm saying? Only thing I forgot was my sour cream. I forgot to get some sour cream. Sour cream? Mm-hmm. What is that sour cream for? 
Tá de pra Não tem no sour cream. Oh, they got a little kick to it. What's that? That sauce. Ah, ain't that bad? Good. All right, so what are we talking about today? We were supposed to talk about answer marriage portion, but I think we only had one person that left a portion on that particular video. But, uh, for the family that's new, me and the wife been married 19 years. Finna be 20 years, y'all. But, I guess you could say we were high school sweethearts. If, if that's the right term. They still use that term. I guess, I don't know. I, you said if, you guess you could say, so you might have had you another high school sweetheart. You sound like you had to think about it. Do what? Sound like you had to think about it. Look, I think you could have these crawfish. What you talking about? Because I could just, me and Jason just, eat this shrimp. They got a little spice too. What's that? The crawfish, to you. A little bit. Yeah. Not too much, it ain't that bad. That's good, come on. But yeah, I found a little high school sweetheart. And uh, we started dating in 11th grade. Why well, say 10th grade? I say 11th grade. What'd you say? I said 10th grade. I said 11th grade, y'all. Yeah. You said 11th grade, but it was. It was tenth grade, but you and Jason was still in the same grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, what that mean? But I don't think you had, you know, you had like claim me as like boyfriend yet. Yeah, I'm mean just full of it. I'm just saying. But you had the other little pretty boy. I don't know what he be talking about. I do. He be on some up stuff. I don't know what. All right, y'all, we back. Y'all, uh, like we were saying, me and the wife, we've been together since high school, y'all. And, uh, going strong. Okay, get your years right. Now, which year did we officially start dating? 11th grade, yeah. No, we did not. We did. So, you were cheating on me all that time, then? <laughs> that what it was. You were cheating on me all them years that you, I mean, them months that you didn't count. I don't know what you're talking about. I feel like officially that night that my grandmama passed, that next day I feel like that was official. Oh, it was. Or that week. So, you ain't tell me. Y'all, after all these years. You ain't tell me it was official. After all these years, I found out that you cheating on me. <laughs> Y'all ain't even cheating on me. Who else cheating on you with? I don't know. You tell me. You knew everybody. Bunquisha. Lakeisha. You knew everybody I knew. Mm-mm. But oh. anyway, so. <laughs> now that we found out Demetri was cheating on me, Tim. Oh, right my goodness. So now we can, move on. we can move on to talking about, uh, Married, so how did it feel being married at 18? Because I know somebody probably won't know that. It was, it was, I mean, it was cool, but it was tough at the same time because it was cool because, you know, it was like, oh, we married, we get to do our own thing. Yeah. You know, we, we, uh, 
you know, we grown or whatever, but at the same time, at 18, it was just me and you. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't like we couldn't ask our parents for nothing, but we were the type that wanted to do stuff on our own. And I didn't want to ask my parents for nothing because I had to get married. I felt we were grown, so I was doing the grown thing. And it was tough. It was tough financially wise because we, we was young. We was young. And I ain't going to say that everybody didn't support us being married at 18. No. So, I'm a, you know, I ain't going to act like everybody was happy about it. No. Everybody didn't support it. So, of course, you know, you, you out there on your own, you know, when you make the decision to um get married, you don't like that. I don't like what? Huh? What you said? Young like that. Yeah, when you decide to get married young. Oh. But you know I'm just saying some people didn't some people didn't agree because they felt like we were too young and mm-hmm. you know. Then you know you had some people, oh you need to live your life and you need to go party and do this and do that. So mm-hmm. you know, people always that's that's with anything in life. People gonna always have their opinion of your life. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that was a decision that we made at that age, and we stuck with it. You know, we didn't let nobody change our mind or nobody say, put it out here that we couldn't do it or y'all didn't need to be together. That's what we wanted. And I'm glad I did it. I wouldn't change it. Even, you know, even our little tough times that we had, I still wouldn't change. I mean, I still wouldn't change the decision that I made. Mm-hmm. You want some more of this? Oh, you got it. Sorry. Them sorry, that was good. Yeah, they are good. Now, do you eat them? Because when my mama she eat them, she, she eat the, the whole, whole thing. thing. Mm-hmm. The uh, shell, you ever tried the shell? Mm-hmm. No, nah, I don't never eat the shell. I always peel it off. Mm. So, yeah, what else What else you want to share about being married at 18? I enjoyed it. I mean, like I said, like you said, we had some tough times and it was a little challenging at times, but we did it together. We did. That was a big one now, bro. You over there? I think I need to let Demetrius and his crawfish. I had to show it to them. Had a moment, it is big. That's a monster there, y'all. I bet that's probably real spicy with all of that, how big it is. But, um, what I was saying? Oh, we, we grew, you know what I mean? We grew, grew up together, I was going to say. Yeah. That's, how, that's why I believe we so close now, because we were really young. You know, basically just me and the wife, you know? Mm-hmm. And... We didn't have any kids, so I mean that wasn't the reason why we got married. Yeah. You know a lot of people they get married sometime young is because they have kids or Yeah, we didn't have kids after after we had gotten married. It was almost four years before we had kids. Mm-hmm. Um, because they actually the doctor actually told me I can't have kids, so Right. It was four years before we had kids, so one me, I owe her. What? How we know? <laughs> <laughs> it must it must it must have not been you because you broke through the walls or something. We got three. I probably would have kept on having. I would have put a stop to it. We had fun. Yeah. We had fun. We had our challenging moments because at the same time you had two. Might as well say teenagers. You know, straight out of high school, getting married. And trying to figure out life. Yeah, trying to figure out life. Um, And I know some people I've been asking in the past, you know, do you feel like you missed out on anything? I don't. I mean, I guess if I was like the partying type Mm -hmm. or if I like to go to the clubs or drink and all of that stuff, I guess I would have. Felt like I was missing out, but I just didn't because I I was never I had fun. Mm-hmm. 
you know, I had fun with my friends and stuff, but I was just never like the partying type. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't feel like I missed out on it. Mitchell probably felt like he did. I don't feel like because I, you know you you know you a, a man, so you might be a little different than me. Yeah, I don't feel like I missed out. There's some things that I, I may have wanted to do that I didn't do. Um, you know, like so how you have some of your friends and they go to college and like mm -hmm. some of my male friend went to college and. You know, they got, they in the frat and all that. You know, I look at like, man, I missed out on that. I wouldn't mind being a Q-Dog or a Kappa or something like that. You right. know, I didn't have that experience. You know, I went straight to work. And, I mean, that was for me. I guess that's how God had it because I've been on my on the same job since I was 18 or 19. I think it was 19. It was like a year, right? Yeah, year. 19. And, I mean, I was... I would have moved up in the company since I've been there, so. But. I see. I would think you probably missed up more than I did, just because of our personalities. Mm -hmm. Now the Mitchell look turned up, y'all. He be trying to. Hey, I like to have fun. <laughs> Mitchell look a little turned up, so. But I figured he would, you know, miss some stuff just because we two separate people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We husband and wife. And we get along, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we are still we still have our own personalities. We still are our own people. So then, man, you know, after that, you know, then we got into ministry. I was involved in church together, and that was a big part of it. Also, I say our relationship, you know, having God in our life and being in a ministry together. And that helped us out a lot. Uh, helped us out a lot in our marriage also. And I think especially just being in a ministry together and serving God together, that helped us out a lot. Because it wouldn't work if she... You having the time with them coffee. Yeah, some of them will smile. The yeah. one I'm grabbing lately. But, you know, it's, it's a difference sometimes when if she was in ministry and I was in the street party or something like that, you know. It'd be a little different, you know, but we was in it together, so that kind of made it, made it worthwhile and made it better for our relationship, I say. Mm -hmm. you know, we were getting up, going to church together, at church all day together, you know. <laughs> Not every day, you just don't like Sundays. Ooh, you gotta church. specify, cause you know people don't know, so you gotta specify, cause you know some people do go to church seven days a week. Yeah, almost seven days a week. Well, yeah. on Sunday we were at church all day together, you know. But um, I thank God made it out for the best, man. We enjoy ourselves, enjoyed ourselves then, and we enjoy each other now, you know. And I asked a lot of my friends, or my friends, some of my friends, asked me. Or just some guy do I know? I mean, some guy that I know asked me, you know, how you been, how you uh, stick it out so long with your wife, or you know, and how you still had a feeling that you have. And y'all yeah, have heard me say it before, you know. If I go to work or if I'm doing anything else, I come home to my wife. You know, I got friends I hang out with, I go fishing and stuff like that, but. If I'm not doing that, I'm home with my wife. You know, that that shuts the door to a lot of other things that can get in my way or, or shuts the door to things that can happen or shuts the door on the devil to have me in situations that allow things to happen. And I think that's what happens a lot of times. We put ourselves in situations and things happen that you don't mean to happen and all because of you in the wrong place at the wrong time or you just in the wrong place period where you should be at home. So yeah. I'm through talking, you can talk. I'm just I'm waiting on you. I'm done. <laughs> I thought we were finna get ready to uh thought I was gonna have to go get on the order. Nah man, I'm just talking, man. I'm just talking to the family, man. That's all. I don't know where you left off at. I don't know.
That dude that said so much, he don't even know where he left off at. But I guess maybe this turning out to be more of a how it was to be 18 and married video. Well, you brought that part up. Well, you just ran with it, so. That's what I put it up. You bring it up, I run. Mm. Now, how you feel being married at 18? Besides. Besides the part of the other part where you said you didn't miss out on that. You don't feel you missed out on that. I was fine with it. Hmm. I was fine with it. I mean, I still talk to my friends even though they was in college and all that stuff. But, I don't know. I just didn't feel like, and to this day, I still don't feel like I missed out on it. It's just, you know. That's just how I feel. I guess, I don't know, maybe part of me, maybe part of it is because there's something that I always, I don't, I guess maybe relationship-wise, you know how you have that mama, daddy, family, you know, all of that stuff going on. Mm -hmm. I don't know, so maybe somewhere in my head that was, you know what we had going on, so I just didn't. I don't know how to explain it, but I just, I don't know. It didn't. I was fine with it. Like, I didn't have a problem, which I didn't work with the first year, maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe the first, maybe the first six months. He was far right, y'all. Maybe the first six months I didn't work. <laughs> so, I didn't have a problem. Uh, you know, I guess you would say catering, catering to Demetrius when he got home from work or having dinner ready. I always kept a clean house, so that wasn't, yeah. you know, that wasn't nothing that it just was so hard to do, and it was only two of us. Yeah, and I ain't never we been. We didn't have kids. So. I ain't never been the type beater like you better cook. <laughs> that <Dead night. laughs> You better cook. Uh, my house need to be clean when I get home. Mm-hmm. I ain't never been that type. My wife always kept a clean house anyway. And if, some need to be straightened up. I straightened up myself. You know, I ain't never been, you know, that gung ho. You know, I ain't never been that dude. I ain't that dude. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, yeah. He ain't never been that dude. Everything that that I do, as far as the stuff that I do for him, is just because this that's just me. We back, y'all. Jada interrupted us, so she wanted some more crawfish. That's good. Where you left our pet? Player, player. Since we just found out you a player. <sighs> Where we left our pet? See, that, that's what y'all women do. Y'all assume stuff and just be all wrong. Hey, don't be getting on here talking about women. You know, 80%, 90% of women is on this channel. Do not be getting on here uh-huh. talking about other women. They going to come for you. I don't care. Y'all take one of your little sad. Why you got- I don't Why you- care. <laughs> You sound like a broken rib, and that's your favorite go to. I don't care if y'all take Monica Lewis side, Team Monica. That's right. Hashtag Team Monica. We still got that cookout coming. Come on, we, we I'm getting off the suit. So. Like I said, that's how y'all be doing. Be assuming stuff and be all wrong. And then. Yeah, I'm assuming you just told me that we went dating to 11th grade. I ain't say I was cheating or dating. No, 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 you was cheating. Did you see me? I ain't have to see you. Alright then. <laughs> I ain't just following you around. I had stuff to do. I had a job and everything. I never had time to follow you around, see what you doing. I think you would follow me around. Seems like every time I went somewhere, you just show up. We all hung at the same place. So here we go, here we go, here we go. We hung at the same place. Yeah, I mean, the Mitchells, we had our own car. Boy, who got that car first? Me. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. Mm-hmm. That was 11th grade year. 11th mm-hmm. grade year. I got my car, and then probably a couple of months later, the Mitchell got his car. And y'all, and the majority of our friends had their own car, too. And you would think all of us would jump into the car with each other when we went places. Everybody went in their own car. Mm-hmm. My friends didn't have a car. All my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Meet your friend. They piled up in his car, but all my friends had their own cars. 
That's funny. All my friends did have their own car. But my, anyway. My dog rode with me. They, ain't, they couldn't get no car. <laughs> The mall was rolled me. He used to pull up with him and his friend, me and my friend, pull up five, six of us in different cars. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we see we're getting off track. That's what we're talking about. That's us. That's what we do. That's what we get off track. Yeah. We're talking about five different things <laughs> in one video. You know wrong with that. But y'all, for real, y'all gonna have to drop us some questions if y'all want like a marriage video because. That's what this video was supposed to be, but we need some questions from y'all, you know? And so mom, mom don't you. like it when I be all over the place, y'all, so. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep it real. I don't. If we talking about one subject, that's what I want to talk about. Because if he don't have a guideline for us to go by, he just be all over the place. We go from talking about being married at 18 to celebrating 20 years to children and job and all this other stuff. I don't need a piece of paper to tell me my life story when I already know it. No, that just keep us on track. If we had a paper down here with questions, we would answer the question, go back to the paper, and not all over the world like you. That's too much work. That's too much work. Y'all, me just want to do his own thing. Y'all, he don't even watch YouTube. I try to tell him, this is how you do this video. Not trying to tell him to be like nobody else. But this is how this video go. Do he listen to me? Mm-mm. Me just do his own thing. So I just say, you know what, whatever. What I need to look at? He been something. doing his own thing for 20 years now. How you doing? And too stubborn. What I need to look at? change everything. What I need to look at somebody else's video for? I ain't say look at nobody else's video. Y'all see how this video all over the place? We, now we talking about YouTube. This is what I'm saying. This is why we need questions in front of us. That's why the family love us. Because we us. What you're not finna do is have me scripted. Oh my goodness. How we get to this, y'all? Let me shine. What? Let me shine. You ain't shine. The light shining. <laughs> I see your forehead gleam. And my forehead shining. Mm, yep. <laughs> it is. Mine probably shining too. But yeah, yeah. Can y'all tell I'm tired? I'm tired. It's been a long day. But me and my husband, we trying to get these videos out for y'all. We ain't trying to go two weeks without a video. Oh, we love y'all. Oh, 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 Before we leave, we gotta do a shout out. Mm. Can I show them what the. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, y'all. Oh, give me no point. <laughs> I ain't gonna catch that out the video. <laughs> y'all gonna see it. <laughs> yeah. I ain't cutting it out. You gotta cut that out the video. No, 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 no. Where is that? It's on the table. She'll be on the table. Yeah. You just said we us. Oh. Uh. You don't want to be nobody else. So we're going to leave that in the video. Wow. We got some, what they call it? Fan mail? That's what they call it. Yeah, I guess you can call it. I ain't going to say fan mail. We what you call it? Subscribe or one of our subscribers that. Want to show us a little love. One of the crew, one of the crew members, part of the Meet Your Monica crew, part of y'all, sent us a card, y'all. And she an OG, because look at the envelope. She said coconut. So she an OG. She an OG. Mm -hmm. It was coconut for the Meet Your Monica crew. Yeah, she said coconut. 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 Yeah, she said it says, uh, congratulations on your new home. May your home be filled with, what it is? Abundance. With abundance, health, love, and laughter. Many blessings. Love, Patrice Smith. Shout out. Going to Patrice Place. At Patrice Place. Shout out, Patrice. <laughs> Big time. I'm cutting up y'all cause we shall not 
the crew. Patrice, you big, big time. Look at this. Shout out to you, Patrice. Then she sent us a gift card for Home Depot. Yeah. How you doing? That's, That's what I'm Patrice. talking about. And this is the blessing. I, when the wife told me today, I was trying to hold it back. I almost teared up. I was like, the family, look, I told the wife about 10 times. I said, hey, we touching somebody. How you doing? <laughs> Thank you, Patrice. That was Thank nice, you, man. We appreciate that, man. That meant a lot. And hey, I'm trying to we hold. We go to up. Home Depot almost every other day, yeah. seem like yeah. <laughs> gifts them. So and we it, appreciate that because you didn't have to do that. So yeah. we really appreciate it. Didn't mean a lot to me. It's one card. And somebody else sent the wife some stuff, a package of stuff, mm -hmm. a while back, and. This mean a lot to me, y'all, big time. I don't know. Because people don't have to take time out their day and send. Even me and my husband, we get excited. Even if you just send a, a handwritten yeah. letter, yeah. you know, we don't ask for anything. Yeah. We don't ask y'all to send anything. Yeah. But stuff like this, you know, we are thankful and grateful because you don't have to do it. So yeah. we appreciate it. No, I'm holding back the tears, y'all, but I'm a Let them flow. No. I'm a man, man. <laughs> I really appreciate our uh, I'm gonna say our family out yeah, there yeah. We know y'all are our supporters And subscribers But we really appreciate y'all yeah. For leaving And I know we say this all the time But um, you know just for the comments And stuff like that We don't have a lot of drama We yeah. don't have people leaving You know you have, you have your one or two people yeah. That leave Um Comments and stuff like that. That's just I don't know what they be thinking when they leave some of that stuff. But um, for the most part, our um, we have a real, subscribers, yes, real family, very encouraging, yeah. cheering us on, and we try to do the same. We try to encourage. You know, we try to. Um, it was something I was listening to. Somebody. I was listening to a preach the other day. Me and you, the guy, we was listening to a preach. Yeah. And, you know, he was saying when you get th things or, you know, God bless you with things in life, he don't do that for you to, you know, throw it up in somebody's face or make somebody feel bad. Mm -hmm. He does that for you to use that to encourage somebody else, yeah. you know, yeah. to let them know they can have the same thing. Mm -hmm. And so that's one of the things that me and Demetri try to do on our channel you know, we've been showing this whole house process, and I promise you, when we first started, I wasn't going to show as much, you know, because I didn't want anybody to think, oh, they trying to show what they got, because I'm, you know, I know we on YouTube, but I am a very private person, you know, aside from YouTube, so I was not going to show as much as we showed, but at the same time, you know, it's people out there that want to strive to have better, yeah. you know, be encouraged because life happened. You know, life happened. Everybody don't have A1 credit. Everybody don't have, you know, all, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars to put down on stuff. And some people think that they can't have certain things. So on, one of our, you know, reasons for showing this journey is just to encourage and show you that, hey, if we can get it and do it, you can do the same thing. Come on, man. You preaching that. Come on. So you know, Mitchell. I'm just saying. All right. But why your voice getting all low now? You preaching that. Come on, man. Why? Wow. But, <laughs> Mitchell, y'all see how Mitchell do, you know, through our videos, encourage you all and stuff yeah. like that. So I hope that we do, you know, and our channel do encourage you. And, 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 and that's where, and I'm glad it was given to us and, and I said, God allowed me to use even the, the big phrase that we use at the end of the video, do it big. That's that's all a part of do it big. I'm not saying do it big, show out, and all this stuff. No, I say do it big because everything that you put or that you strive to do, put extra effort, uh, effort in it. Work extra hard. That's what a big part. That's when I say do it big. Because when I try to do something, I'm going to try to do it as big as I can. I'm going to try to work as hard as I can to make it the best. So that's what I mean by do it big. Now, if you're going on a big vacation, do it big on your big vacation. Enjoy yourself. But anything else, if you need to put put some extra uh, 
up into something or some extra light on or something. That's what I mean by big. Do it all the way. If you're going to school, go to school big. You don't, you know, finish 100. Finish, finish what you started. Don't stop. Finish what you started. If if you're going for nursing school, if you're going for this, if you're going for a job, go in there at your best. Do it to your best. Put on your best. Look the best. Talk the best that you can. Put everything and I do. People see that. Huh, baby? How you doing? <laughs> but anyway, I ain't still no wife, y'all. But that's what I say do it big. And uh, hey, we back to do it big and go to bed. Mm -hmm. So we're going to let y'all have this one tonight. And uh, I'm through eating. I don't know where all these crawfish are going to go. But uh, I'm full. Look like the wife full, too. You full? I'm just ready to go to sleep. You ready to go to sleep? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, family, we love y'all. We appreciate y'all. And uh, we thank y'all for joining in tonight. And uh, we're going to close it out like this. Y'all ready? And everything that you do, remember to do it big. Boom. <laughs>